Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna do a video for you today about my favorite skincare products. This is a requested video. On my last video, it was a tag. I'll try to um, like put a card there or there, forget which direction it'll be. I uh, asked if anyone had any requests and beautiful Olivia, um, she asked me to name five of my favorite color products, uh, makeup wise, and I will do that another day, and five of my favorite skincare products for someone of a particular age. I am myself 57. I take very good care of my skin. I always apply SPF every day, even if I'm not going outside. This is the one I use can do a little screenshot of that. So this is really gonna be more than five products, but I'm gonna get unready with you and show you the products that I just love, love, and have purchased over and over again. Okay, so let's start. I put a cloth, because I have trouble with my back, so I usually, I'm gonna move that for you. I um, will use a washcloth for my face instead of bending down um it's just easier i'm going to take off my little slippers now and uh, i just go around my face like this with the cloth and right here and then my favorite cleanser is by la roche posay take a screenshot of that this is perfect this is for normal to dry skin and that's really how my skin is once in a blue moon it will get oily but I don't mind the oil because I am over 50 more closer to 60 which I can't believe um, I don't mind getting a little moisture even if it's oil and this is great to take off off take off eye makeup too I will sometimes use um, like an oily cleanser to take off my eye makeup, but this works really good. So I've been using this most, mostly. And it probably looks like I'm scrubbing the heck out of my face, but I'm really not. Plus, sometimes you just gotta get in there and get that dirt and pollution out of there. And always remember to go down Cleanse your neck. And I'm not looking in the uh, camera. I'm camera so much because I'm using a hammer. Because I'm using this for my monitor for a um, mirror. Even though I have a big one like behind me. Okay, so I didn't really wear much makeup today. I just wore a skin tint. So I'm not going to do a double cleanse. But if I use or I should say if I wear a full foundation, well, medium coverage foundation, I will do, use this, I mean, twice to clean my skin. Now, the next step that I like to do is I like to use this Earth Harbor is the brand, and it's called Aurora, and it's a superfood luminance ampule. Ampule is just this type of container, and this, is such a great product. It helps with redness, it helps with irritations, and I don't measure anything out. I just put a bunch on my face. Go down my neck. And I always try to wear like a headband like this when I'm doing my skincare because it just gets all that hair out of the way. And it's very, um, emollient but I find that it just soaks in nicely to my skin it helps with the redness that I get here and I have redness here too and if you were to ask me what's the most important thing with skincare the number one is to take that makeup off at night even if you just wore a little powder whatever take it off because it clogs pores and then it gives you these large pores which I have some here it's hard to see like with the light but I have some um, 
just from years of not taking care of my skin. I think once I got into YouTube, like about 10, 11 years ago, I started really paying attention to my skin and really taking care of it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an eye cream. And I like this one. It's by the company Saturday Skin. And it's the Yuzu Vitamin Bright C Eye Cream. I also like this. And this is by Derma Select. It's hard to read it. It's the Line Correction Eye Gel. I tend to just kind of use this one at night because it's, it's more emollient. So I'm not worried about like my makeup slipping off or looking all greasy. And I just damp that. And it's not a line corrector to be honest with you. It just moisturizes my eyes and I do under eyes. And I do notice that if I skip an eye cream, now that I'm a little older, my eyes just look drier. Let's see, it just kind of soaks right into there. So that I use for PM. And this brand Derma Select makes my absolute favorite product, which I'm gonna show you soon. And it is the Retinol, Outcrease Retinol Trifecta Serum. And there's for the screenshot. And this I have purchased three times. I do not remember Oh yeah, it came in like a, a birch box. No, no, boxy charm. I don't know why I always say birch box. Oh, it's right, right over there. Yeah, I had that other stuff working in my skin, but they're just gonna work good together. This retinol serum is just wonderful. Now, if you've never tried retinol, go and get, get it and use it maybe every other day, maybe three times a week, you gotta test it with your skin. I have used Retin-A, didn't really like it too much, it irritated my skin too much. Used some other retinols, didn't see anything. And then I received this, and even my husband will say like every day, wow, your skin is just so clear, it's so smooth. And I do have like a little breakout here. I wear a CPAP mask, so I think it just got irritated. I'm just pushing that in. And about now is where I will like maybe brush my teeth, which I did before this, which to save time. And um, sometimes go change into my nightgown, maybe get some water. I wanna like let that soak in, but we're gonna pretend that I did that so that I can show you the next step. This just came in, but I used a small like sample size of this up and I loved it. It's that company Laneige, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's the water sleeping mask. And this is incredible. I just love the way it feels on my skin. I'm opening it up. This just arrived today. I actually ordered this on Amazon through Prime Days, which took a few days longer than I liked, but oh well. Uh, I'm trying to pull this. You know, people that have arthritis have a problem, or people that have any type of chronic pain that affects their hands, or whole body like me, these little things are a pain in the butt to open. All right, I'm gonna see I have, if I have scissors. I'll be back. Got it off. Now, I have a lot here on the little paper. So I'm going to use this because this is just so lovely and it took me a little while. So those serums that I used had, uh, they've kind of melted into my skin more, which is good. And I just plop it all over it. When you first put it on, it feels very cooling and just so nice. Now this is a facial mask, but it's not one that you rinse off. You sleep with it. And there have been a few times that my face has been very dry. I'm gonna take a little bit from the container. 
There have been a few times when my face has been dry and I have used this during the day and just left it on. Now I didn't wear makeup that day. I just I stayed home and it was a no makeup day, but it made my skin just feel terrific. And I wake up in the morning and my face feels just so moisturized and wonderful. It doesn't feel taut. It doesn't feel irritated. I just love this. And I was so grateful that, <clears throat> that I got the little sample size at uh, Sephora for my birthday last year. And that's how I tried it. Very, very good. Okay, so let's go over so you can take screenshots if you want. La Roche Posay cleanser, absolutely the best cleanser that I have used at this current time in life. And this was recommended to me by a cousin of mine. And I think sometimes genetics play a lot in your skin. You know, your skin is the largest organ of your body. And if you have like heart disease in your family, I think similar things happen with skin. Like if you have a cousin like I do that loves this, I love it too. So this is great, great, great product. And they sell these like at Target, um, sometimes Wal Wal Walgreens, just wonderful. And I saved this one because the last one that I got was a squeeze tube and I just squeezed it all in there. Okay, in no particular order, but I used the Earth Harbor Aurora. And sometimes I just use this and I don't use the retinol. But today I felt like I'm gonna use it all to show you and to make my skin feel even better. This just, it helps to clear your skin. It helps with the fine lines and the wrinkles. Yes, you're gonna get them. It's life, you know. Um, I currently don't have any Botox, but I have gotten Botox on my 11s before. This is like a year. The lighting really doesn't show, but you can see there. Uh, over a year ago, I got a little bit here, but I didn't like it as much as about eight months prior to that. I I got some where I got over here and my brow lifted a little bit. I like to go back for that because I'm not opposed to that. Um, if you want a little something to help you feel, but be look better to you, go for it, you know. And I'm not gonna deny that I've had it. Um, will I ever have plastic surgery? don't think so because it's just such a big thing but Botox that's fine I did do some cheek filler last year all it did was hurt my cheeks never again and that all that was was pure hyaluronic acid that they put in to kind of puff up your cheeks a little bit okay so we did the serums we got the Derma Select and the Aurora for day I really like this Saturday Skin, and it's the Yuzu, yeah, that's how you pronounce it, Yuzu Vitamin C Cream for night. I like Dermaselect. I hate how you can't read that. It's the same brand, and it's called the Line Correcting Eye Gel. And like I said, it doesn't correct the lines, but it moisturizes, and I notice a difference. And I notice a difference when I'm putting on my concealer. If I forget to put eye cream, and I'm putting on makeup, My it, it kind of tugs a little bit. It doesn't look as right or lay as right on my skin. Okay, that, that, and then the Laneige, just beautiful. Love this Laneige, Laneige. Somebody can correct me. <laughs> I've heard somebody pronounce it correctly, but now I can't. Um, as for like regular everyday uh, moisturizers, my sunscreen of choice is the CeraVe AM Facial Lo Moisturizing Lotion, and this has a broad spectrum SPF of 30. It's oil free. If you've got a little bit of oily skin, this is not gonna bother you. And I do like the CeraVe PM, but since I found this, I like this better. But if like I run out and I'm in between, I just always have this on. So that's my uh, favorite skincare for someone of a certain age that has maybe normal to dry, a little, a little bit of oily sometimes, but I only get oily like in the T-zone. Um, 
And that's it. I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time day you're watching this. Take care and I'll see you soon. I got a few more videos coming up and thank you for everyone that recommended or asked for videos. I have a, a really good one that's coming up about traveling with lupus or chronic illness. I'm working on that and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye all.